Let's talk about malware. My name is David Perry and I'm the Global Director of Education for Trend Micro and a few years ago, 25 to be exact, it all began with this little baby. Let's call this a computer virus. Okay, the computer virus was actually characterized by the fact that it made copies of itself. That's what made a computer virus a computer virus. A Trojan, uh, I had a friend once named Simon Widlake in England who said, if it says peas on the can and you open it up and it's got carrots, then it's a Trojan horse program. And I always loved that description. But really a Trojan horse program is any program that pretends to be something it's not. And worms are programs that spread from one system to another under their own legs. Now, all worms are a subset of viruses and Trojans intersects both of those subsets. We've kind of gone to another era where we hardly ever see viruses. We see a lot of Trojans and we see a lot of worms. What we see a lot of these days, of course, is phishing. Phishing is spam with teeth. Phishing is when you get an email that says your bank account, we forgot, this is your bank, we forgot your password, please, Type us your password. I have news for you. Your bank never forgot your password. Phishing is email that ties you to a web-based threat or a web page. And when it does that, it sends you to actually to criminals who are trying to steal from you. They might want to pipe, plant spyware on your system, or they might employ a blended threat that uses several different kinds of threats together. And of course, they might be sending it from spam. I hate spam. Spam makes up more than 80% of all the email in the world. Spam has evolved into something much worse, and that's this, phishing. Now, sometimes these things are polymorphic, which means that they take different forms, making them hard to identify. And sometimes they even use something called a remote access trojan that remote controls your computer by the bad guys. Confused yet? Well, you will be. Sometimes you get a worm that's really a botnet that comes from spam, includes a Trojan, and downloads a rootkit, ending up planting a keylogger on your system that's there to steal your credit card number or your bank account information. All together, this thing with all these components, we call a web-based threat. So all of this, really what you need to know is not the name of the malware itself, but you need the idea that there's a crime taking place because this is what made this very important. So what you really need to do for web threats is protect yourself against all of it. At Trend, we have an approach we call Trend Micro Internet Security Pro, and you can read all about it on our website at www.trendmicro.com. Now I happen to have some Trend Micro Internet Pro right here. <laughs> You can see it's very effective at getting rid of all of these threats right here on the desk. So all you need is a T-ball from Trend Micro and you can get rid of all of those annoying Skittles like the Trojans, the viruses, and etc. It's called Trend Protect. And thank you for spending this time with me. Bop, bop.